is up, I'm Proud Crowd. Welcome back to another video here. We are in the LMM Duramax, which by the way, giveaway for this truck starts February 22nd. A lot of people ask, dude, why do you do the giveaways? Why do you do giveaways so much? Why don't you just keep a truck? Dude, I keep the first gen, which is gonna be getting, I promise you, it will be getting finished here soon. I keep the Longhorn, and I'm gonna be getting a new daily driver that's gonna be Go Fast Car, which I am keeping. Those are all keeping building vehicles that we are going to continue to work on. However, the giveaways, this is the purpose of these giveaways, okay? A, a subscriber and a fan that's been watching my videos, just like Michael, who won the OBS, which you guys should see in the next video, who's been watching my videos for the past two years, supporting me, buying the merch, all that stuff. I'm giving those loyal supporters and subscribers and followers and participants in these giveaways an opportunity to win a truck of their dreams for a lot of these people. So it's a really, really cool thing that's helped to give back to people and also it gives you guys more content and that's gonna be my second point. The giveaway trucks provide more content because the people who participate in the giveaways and buy the merch, that is how content is produced for this channel, which is what brings you guys more videos and the merch just kind of helps pay for that kind of stuff to be able to get more done, um, which is just in the end, that's, that's the end result. It's really just to be able to produce more content, but if I wanna do that, it takes a lot of this, and YouTube revenue is not gonna provide enough of this to be able to build trucks like this. Just like I did with the Longhorn, um, with the OBS doing the big wheels and tires and the headlights and grill and tail lights and all that crap and uh, just the dually, all this stuff, all this stuff to be able to cover the cost of this or nasty red build with the transmission and the new front end, all these parts, all this stuff couldn't happen without being able to do the giveaway. So I hope you guys understand these giveaways are to be able to move the channel forward, get trucks built, provide more content, and give a subscriber a dream truck. So anyways, let's get into the topic of this video. These are gonna be a few of the things that I've noticed that I really like about my Duramax so far, the LMM, and things that I don't like so much. So let's get on to the first things that I really like about this truck. The responsiveness is incredible. This truck can get up and move very, very quickly. And all it's running is a tuner. And the tuner, I don't know exactly what tuner's on the truck, but I know that it was tuned by Fleece Performance. Fleece Performance is where he took the truck to have the tuner gone through to make sure everything's running perfectly um, and everything's in tune and it's not gonna have any kind of issues or interference with the transmission performance and any of that stuff. So it runs really, really good. Um, doesn't dump a lot of coal, just a little tiny bit, which I'm okay with a little bit. Obviously, you can't completely prevent it on a truck that's pushing a little bit more horsepower than factory with you know, the factory mufflers and crap and all that stuff on it. This truck is deleted in tune. So it runs really, really good. Good up and go time, it's really snappy, performs nicely, and I love that. And honestly, I told I told my fiance Reagan, who's, she's one filming right now, I told her, I said, honestly, I am in love with Duramax trucks already. And I said, I've only had this truck a little over a week, but I just freaking love it. Um, it just handles really nice, drives really nice, lots of power, and it's not even built. That's the thing, is the thing is just like, this is just like stock power with a tuner on it, and it, and it performs really, really well. So we're gonna do a little bit of a, not really like, a kind of a boosted launch, but not not really. We're gonna keep it in two wheel drive, but this is a wide open flat road, no cars ahead, no cars behind, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we're just gonna do a little rev here and launch it, so. that quick I don't know how fast that was but that was 75 not to mention the tires in two-wheel drive they just with street tires you just can't keep them on the ground so um, the thing's quick for a truck compared to what I've driven which is a slow all those slow dodges you know and the ramps and stuff this thing performs really really nicely and it, it runs really good not to mention this is the first truck that I've really daily driven that's on street tires it's on a smaller set not a giant set and I honestly really like it. I was driving in this truck with my brother last night and I told him, I said, dude, honestly, I've never been a fan of like street tires on a four wheel drive on like a big pickup truck like this, like a heavy duty truck. But I'm like, this thing runs really, really nice. Not to mention with the smaller tires, instead of having giant mud tires, this thing get a, gets up and goes really nicely. It gets really good fuel mileage. It handles really nice. It cruises nice down the road, just nice and soft, not like a bunch of rough, really, really rough bumps and stuff that just shoot all up through the truck because of the giant knobby tires. It just runs really, really nice. We're actually gonna pull in here, turn around. So we're gonna get to my next thing that I don't like. As you can see, I'm having to back up and rearrange a couple times here. 
um, the small wheel wells. And not necessarily small wheel wells, but the square fenders on these trucks. Now this truck is running a 31 inch tire, 31 inch Nitto 420 on a 20 by 12. And that, it clears it on level ground, truck not hitting bumps and potholes and stuff like that. On level ground, on full lock all the way around, it does not rub either direction. Front, front or rear, no front bumper, no rear fender. Doesn't rub on a 31 inch tire on 20 by 12. So keep that in mind on a stock suspension setup on this truck, no rub. However, I would love to run 33s that are a little bit more meaty tires, but on this setup, even if it's leveled, even if it does have a two and a half inch leveling kit up front, I don't even know how well it would really clear a 33 with a two and a half inch leveling kit. The, the square fenders, it's just one of those things I don't like about the Chevys, you take a lot more lift to get the same amount of tire under the truck. Don't know why they're like that. Chevy's just always done them like that ever since the square bodies. They've always had that square fender design, and I guess it's a Chevy thing. I don't know why, it just is. Um, but for example, on this truck, on my Longhorn, for example, of course they were 20 by 10s, but it was only ha it only had a two inch leveling kit on it, and it had 35 inch tires on it with 20 by 10s on a leveling kit on my Longhorn. They're just a lot higher, a lot more roomy fenders, the round fender design. You can just clear a lot more tire with a lot less lift. Um, so if, you, if you're into that kind of thing, that's just one thing that I don't necessarily really like about these trucks. But I will, I'll put up with it with everything else that I do like about the truck. Uh, maybe I'm just used to slower trucks or just big trucks on big, big tires that are just not fast. But this thing eats, like it goes really quick and it performs really, really nicely. Like I was telling her, I'm like, just launching it past her, just by the time I got past her a little bit, like, I don't know, I don't know how far, I wasn't very, a few truck lengths ahead of her, I was already going 65 miles an hour that quick. And uh, I'm just not used to that kind of a get up and go time in a big truck like this. But then again, like I said, it's on smaller tires, not meaty tires, and it's a Duramax. It's not a 20 year old truck. I mean, I, I just don't know. And obviously the Longhorns on giant wheels and tires, the King Ranch is on big old wheels and tires. Everything else that we have is on big wheels and tires um, versus that lower 31 inch tire, street tire. You know what I'm saying? That that type of a setup. And this truck, it, it runs really nice, guys. Like it really just eats. It grabs and goes. And I just love the performance. So again we're gonna go to this topic again and I've been looking in the comments guys and like I told you this it's gonna be a giveaway truck and not only a giveaway truck it's gonna be a content truck so I want to make some content with this truck so that the people that don't enter the giveaways which is most of the people that watch these videos don't enter the giveaways you guys have some content to watch but for those people that do enter the giveaways how would you want this truck to be built I read the comments under yesterday's video and I saw a lot of people saying just level it on like some 33s if 33s would fit I don't know it would be really really tight fit because even a 31 it clears but it hardly clears like I mean it's like you can probably put like three or four playing cards in between it like it's really really it's really close go down into the comments if you're somebody who's planning on entering this giveaway and you're planning on using this truck I and mean, the reason I'm saying specifically those people because if you're gonna be actually possibly winning this truck and you're actually gonna want to use this truck I want those people to really comment what they want and to like the comments whichever comment gets the most likes is probably gonna be more towards what we do with this truck in the next video we are probably gonna be seeing Michael the winner of the OBS truck and he is going to be coming actually he's going to make the trip up to pick the truck up out of indianapolis indiana and then he's going to pick up the truck there and cannot wait to see his reaction when he sees the thing like in person he's already got an obs but like you said it's an extended cap it's not a full, full four door and it's got a blown engine so currently it's it's not drivable so this is going to be really cool for him to be able to have this truck uh, but yeah super excited and uh thank you for your camera work today. You did a very good job, Thank I think. You. I haven't seen the video yet, so I don't know for sure, but I'm just assuming she did a good job. Um, but anyways, guys, keep that in mind. Giveaway for the truck starts February 22nd. Every $15 will get you another entry to win. Like usual, same rules apply. Thank you guys so much. Leave your comments down below. Leave a fat thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you have not done so yet. Thank you guys so much. We will see you in the next video. Peace.